everyone, I'm Kelly and I'm a solution consultant with Echolocity. And today I wanted to talk to you about a concept that is used quite frequently within the Smartsheet realm, which is called a helper column. So if you're watching this video, you likely know that Smartsheet is a spreadsheet grid based platform. Um, obviously they have other components such as reports and dashboards, but in their data source, which is called a sheet, <clears throat> it is made up of columns and rows. And there, when you're building a solution within Smartsheet, one of the first things you're going to do is create your column set. And when you're thinking about your column set, you're likely thinking about what are the data entry points that I need to fill in um, as a source of this data. So if you look at my screen, I'm showing an example of a CRADE log. A CRADE log is a common asset that we use to track changes, risks, actions, issues, and decisions. Um, we have another video specifically on the concept of CRADE log, so I can link that in the description. <clears throat> but essentially, as you can see here on the screen, I have columns for data entry points. Reporter, who is reporting this specific decision? What is the CRADE type, right? Is it a decision, risk, issue? What is the overall status? Um, I'm going to come back to this one as a helper column. What is the priority? What's the description, right? So you're thinking about all of those data points that you need filled in to support the you know, solution that you're building and have the right data in place to support that. Helper columns are additional columns that you might add to your sheet for a few different purposes. You might use it to have the opportunity to report on something specific. You might use it as an opportunity to calculate something, um, or you might use it as an opportunity to convert data even. So on this sheet, I have a few examples of how we use helper columns at Echo um, and how you could potentially use them as well. <clears throat> so the first one here, I have a status column. And so when thinking about a CRADE log, oftentimes the, the statuses of an individual CRADE item may be different. For example, um, with a risk, right? In this use case, risks can be accepted, mitigated, or transferred. So we have those specific statuses versus just a generic open and closed. However, what we've done in the background is we've mapped each of these to a um, like an open or closed status. So I have this status helper column that based on the status that I identify here, oops, that's a decision, oops, that one. Um, it will, I have an automation in the background that will automatically fill in the status helper. <clears throat> the reason why I have that is now I have a little bit easier of a column that I can use for filtering on reports, for creating formulas and other sheets to reference if an item is open or closed versus having to look at multiple different statuses to determine if it's opened or closed. A few other use cases we have, um, we often use helper columns to record dates. So in this example, we are recording the date, a risk changes from a risk to an issue. So we can track when that change took place. We also use this often for when we're when an item is closed, right? When a crate item or even an activity on a project schedule is closed, we record that date. Then we can go back and use reports in Smartsheet to look at <clears throat> how many items have been closed in the last seven days. Right. Um, a, another option or another example that we have here is really a calculation. Um, so here we have in what's called an RPN score. Um, so it's a risk priority number. And what we do is essentially we're um, creating a score to determine the severity of a specific item, usually a risk, right? Depending on the impact and probability what is the impact of that risk? And then what is the probability of it happening? Now, when we have a user entering data, we want them to see something a little bit more user friendly. Is the impact low, moderate or extreme for probability? Is it unlikely possible or almost certain, right? And these helper columns are actually converting or calculating this text just into that straight number. So then we can use this column to calculate what that score is, right? So we kind of have multiple different examples here within these helper columns because we're converting this data into a number. And then we're using that to calculate this specific score. 
The last use case that I'll share um, of our helper column, and um, this is often used, it's used in many use cases, but most particularly when um, we're using some of Smartsheet's more sophisticated um, tool sets such as Control Center, but we have these helper columns that give us information about the row that we can then report on. So what project is this crate item associated with? What department is this crate item associated with? Who is the project manager associated with this project and has this crate log? The reason for that is we might want to look at crate items across an entire project portfolio, and then we want to be able to identify, is this risk from project A or project B? Um, so that's why we have these helper columns as well to be able to give us that data. Now this is going to show exactly the same data all the way down. And so in this sheet, we'd likely hide these columns. And that's pretty common with helper columns. Um, oftentimes they can be hidden. For example, those calculation columns I just showed, these are typically hidden um, because the end user doesn't need to see them. They're really just in the background to give us this calculation that we need. Same thing here. These are necessary on a report that we're um, creating at the portfolio level, but it's not necessary for the end user on this sheet because they likely know what project it's associated with. It's likely in a folder for that particular project or linked from the project dashboard. But it's really important that when we create a report at the portfolio level that we know which project it's associated with. So um, if you have any more questions about helper columns, don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can um, get notified when we release new informational videos. Thanks again.